Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you listen in the world. No hidden meaning behind that. <laughs> just when you think you've heard everything, you know. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say again, thank you for your prayers. Um, I'm really not worried. Um, it's like, um, I'm going to have him check these, but uh, it's like over here that he's going to, um, that I'm going to have removed. So, See, the thing is, is when I was in my 20s, I tanned in the tanning beds. I don't do that anymore. Um, I stopped. So, right. But, um, yeah, if you're doing that, stop. <laughs> don't do it. But, you know, when we, uh, when things like this happen, we have, you know, medical problems, financial problems, all of the above button. <laughs> you know, we put our faith and trust in our Heavenly Father. I'm, I'm not worried. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm not going to pray. Of course, I'm going to pray. I want to be okay. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'll be okay. My, my mother has had so much skin cancer removed. She's good. As we speak, she's got a hole in her back. But, oh, I'm so, this thing's broke. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm not worried. So if you're, you know, if you're going through health issues, if you're going through financial issues, or if you're going, uh, whatever you're going through, um, just put your faith and trust in our Heavenly Father. Our time in this world is so short. Could we be raptured this year? Good possibility. We don't know. Only our Heavenly Father knows. He doesn't want anybody to perish. But the way things are escalating, it's a good possibility. But if we're still here next year, we just we keep looking up. Because our redemption draws nigh. Oh my gosh. Every bump it goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. But um hang in there. Belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, gospel of peace, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. I promise you, it's almost over. In the blink of an eye, just imagine this. In the blink of an eye, cars are going to be without drivers. I, I think about this a lot. Say if the rapture is to happen like any second. Shoot cars hit another car it's gonna be chaos and you don't want to be here for that what is satan trying satan is trying to wear us out satan is trying to put those thoughts in our head we'll go up the rack for rapture. no no resist the devil and he will flee satan you need to leave right now in jesus name so if you get those thoughts um nope satan you need to leave right now in jesus name i put my faith and trust in my heavenly father Don't put your faith and trust in any of these politicians. And, um, I have to, if I can find the link, I, I think I was going to do that. And I got, I'm going through menopause. And let me tell y'all, it's getting worse with the memory. Oh my gosh. Um, sorry, it's sun. Um, I think I was going to post this link and I forgot to. But, um, this guy, he was saying, I mean, there's a lot of crud on TikTok, but there's, there's, some good stuff too and that's that's I listened to it for that and um, he was saying how um, don't be sidetracked you know with this thing with Trump and uh, people are thinking Trump is this the way he put it Trojan horse that's uh, just going to come in and fix the problems and everything's gonna go back to normal and don't put your faith and trust in any of these politicians put your faith and trust in Jesus He's about to come get us. I assure you that. We don't know the day or hour, but it is soon. That's why I'm not really worried about this. I mean, there is nothing in this world that I want more than spending eternity with my Savior, my Heavenly Father. I mean, I wouldn't want to leave my daughter and my little bubby. And if you could pray for him, he's um, he's sick, he has a fever, and he's very congested. My daughter did a video call a second ago. He calls me Bubble. <laughs> All those years when I thought I'm going to be a grandma one day, I thought, I wonder if my grandchild's going to call me grandma, uh, nana, um, nana, granny, 
never imagined it would be Bubble, <laughs> but that's what he calls me. And uh, we did a video call, and he's called Bubble. I was like, but um, yeah, if you could pray for him, and um, I, I know I'll be okay. I, I mean, I, I maybe there's a smidge in me every now and then that starts to uh, go, hmm, you know, because I, I mean, these might be something else right here. If you could see them, what these just popped up like right here, and then there's this one that actually got smaller, but it's still like a jagged, rough, you know. I don't know what these are. It, it's, uh, yeah, they just appeared. And then there's that right there. That looks, that looks like a mole, but anyway, but it's one over here that they're going to remove. But these just popped up, so I'm going to ask about this. I don't know if this is just, I don't, know, I don't know what that is. I mean, yeah, I don't know. They just appeared. It's not scabs. It's it's soft. It's not even, you know, it's not even like, like a scab or it'd be rough. It's just it's, it's just regular skin with marks on it. I don't know. But the one he's going to remove is over here. But I'm, I'm not worried, you know. I mean, if, if. It's my time, it's my time, you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if it is, it's caught early. You know, I'm, I'm not worried about it. But yeah, I go in tomorrow. So, um, if you can relate to financial issues and medical issues and, you know. Um, remember, God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. And... Satan knows where to attack each person. If you have financial problems, he's going to attack you there. If you have medical problems, he's going to attack you there. If you have all of the above, like me, he's going to go... <laughs> you know? Where it is a badge of honor. Where it is a badge of honor. Because Satan isn't going to focus too much on the ones that he already has. He's going to focus on the ones he doesn't. So... Where it is a badge of honor and we're all meeting at the marriage supper. I feel like I gotta watch every move I'm making with my hands. It's like people got too much time in their hands. <laughs> watch your fingers. <laughs> watch your hands. She was doing this. Gosh. Yeah, but um, where it is a badge of honor. If you're going through obstacles, where it is a badge of honor. And remember, we could have been born in any other generation God chose us to be a part of this generation that will see the return of our Savior and got to park here we're living in exciting times I mean all of this that's going on and with the new lockdown things and I am um, I, I heard and I pray it's true that our go our Texas our governor governor I'm not gonna park here uh, let's see I didn't realize that was a handicap sorry I'm, I'm picking up Tom and um, does he still in the booty can't drive then going out and do my Uber deliveries but um see forgot what I was gonna say Forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, oh, we could have been. Woo! I need some. <laughs> the lighting there looks terrible. I, I, I look like I'm about a hundred. Let me go somewhere where there's a. I can try and escape the sun. I don't think there's nowhere I'm gonna escape the sun. There we go. A little bit better. Oh, much better. That was, that was horrible. But we could have been born in any other generation, and we we were chosen to be a part of the generation that's going to see the return of Jesus, like literally any second. Literally any second. You know, and it's really, it amazes me how, I mean, don't y'all like, whenever you're out in public, you know, grocery store, bank, whatever, um, you look around and you think, I wonder how many see and how many are just clueless as to what's about to happen. Clueless. There, I got my, if you could see it back there, uh, let's see. Right there. It says, in case of rapture, driver will be absent. <laughs> it says driver will be absent. So, um, it amazes me. You know, some, I, I, I've heard, and maybe you guys have heard it too, um, from family or friends where they say, 
why are you so focused on um, leaving this world? I mean, enjoy life and, you know, you got your grandson and, you, you know, and I, I've heard that before and I'm like, I am enjoying life. But the Bible says when these things begin to happen, look up, your redemption draws nigh. This isn't our home. Some people just don't get it, you know. Um, it doesn't feel, it's not our home and it, it just... It's not the same world that we grew up in in the 70s and 80s. Heck, it's not even in the same world that my daughter grew up in. I mean, did you guys ever think you'd be alive to see these things happening? At the rate it's happening? And now, in this country, the United States, we got 2024 elections, and oh, another lockdown. We got illegals um, that are allowed to come into the country, you know. I mean, there's people that want to come into the country that do it the proper way. And then they have the open borders. You know why they have the open borders. They're going to watch. I pray we're not here, but watch. They're going to let them vote. Said it before. I'll say it again. Do I see Trump getting reelected? No. I don't. In order for prophecy to be fulfilled, he can't be. He doesn't want a one world government. This Bozo in office does. I just cannot believe people still support this guy. It's just... It's at the point I can't even listen to it anymore because it's just sickening. It's, it makes me literally sick how twisted and evil this regime is in this country. But wherever you're listening, whatever part of the world you're listening in, don't let all this news put any fear in you. Remember what the Bible says. For these things must happen. Look up, your redemption draws nigh. The world is getting... I don't remember what I was going to say now. <laughs> it goes to be like that. The world is getting prepared for the tribulation. Sorry. That was my Uber app. I'm so sorry. I pray that it's true in Texas. That's what I was starting to say. In Texas, they, um, Governor Rick Abbott, um, if Bozo tries to make it mandatory to get the ouchies, you know, and um, to wear the, you know, masks that we're not going to, you know, and I, I, I pray, I pray Heavenly Father in Jesus' name, that's true. My daughter is getting married in November and, oh man, oh, and she will be getting married, praise the Lord, she will be getting married, so I, I pray that that's true, um, but, um, yeah, I saw, um, a little clip of him where he was saying, there's going to be new ouchies, because the other ones didn't work. And, uh, and, um, this time everybody's going to have to take it. I'm like, yeah, good, good luck with that, dude, for real. You know, um, what I think, my personal views, I could be wrong. I think the mark of the beast isn't just the one thing. I think it's a step-by-step -step thing. What I think, and again, I could be wrong. These are my, this is just my opinion, is they're trying to get everybody's body prepared and conditioned to take the MOB, you know. That's what I think. And the purple lights, you know, people look at us like one, we're one fry short of a happy meal. It's, don't bother me none. <laughs> it's fun. Think what you want, man, you know. But uh, I see a lot of them around here. A lot of them. And if you're in the Tarrant County area, especially in the bottoms, and you know where the bottoms is, um, behind Bell Helicopter and all that, they're like all over the place. The city claims, and they've been up there for years, like maybe right around, actually right around the start of the pandem pandemic, man, is when they appeared, you know. But um, the city claims that they were just sent out by mistake. If that's true, okay, think about this. What if you have a business and you're getting light bulbs replaced and they sent out the wrong batch? What are you going to do? You're going to return them and get the right ones. If that was true... Which is what, that's what the, that's what the Tarrant County area and in between Dallas and Fort Worth in Texas says. They said that they were a mistake. If that was true, they wouldn't still be freaking up there, man. They would get the right ones. It's so they can see that, you know, I mean, right now there's a big neon sign. And our Heavenly Father is saying, I'm sending my son back. Jesus is coming. Repent, accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. And people are too focused on their vacations and they're going to the bars on the weekend and, and 
They're too busy loving their earthly life. That's sad, man. And they look at us like we're nuts, like in the days of Noah. Sorry, I have to see if Tom. I thought that was Tom. Like in the days of Noah, you know. They're looking at us like we're nuts, like we're um, doom and gloom, and you know, um, you know, a lot of the posts that I make um, on Facebook about look repent, Jesus is coming. I mean, nobody, nobody replies to it. No, nobody. Not even a thumbs up, man. You know, family. Family looks at you like you're nuts. Oh well. Our nutty selves will be at the marriage supper. They'll wish they listened. Like in the days of Noah. I think it was seven days before the flood hit. Flood before the flood hit. Or the ark. And the flood hit. And they were like, we believe, we believe. Well, too late, man. Because once that once the rapture happens, that's it. You're here, you're left behind. But God sees everybody's heart. God sees the Christian's heart that truly want to live for Christ and the ones that think that they can do what they want. Oh, well, I believe in Jesus and I'll just do what I want. I'm saved. Lukewarm Christian? No. God, God see. I feel like somebody needs to hear that. God sees your heart. He sees your heart. If you've stumbled, stand back up. Our children, our grandchildren, if they stumble, and I, I know I've mentioned this before, but if they stumble, I say, Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm really sorry. Are you going to say, Nope. That's it. You're Go away. Wait. Come here. We'll get through this together. I love you. It's our Heavenly Father. He He's our Heavenly Father. He sees your heart. He sees the ones that stumble, 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 stumble. stumble. Sorry. <laughs> stumble, 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 stumble. And just keep stumbling. Um, I'm, he'll forgive me. Stumble, stumble, you know. I'll repent, but not today. I mean, you know, cause I, this is too much fun, you know. I want to go here and I want to get drunk and do this, you know. And the ones that go, I feel so bad. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You see the difference? Don't let Satan put those thoughts into your head that you're not forgiven. Just like we forgive our children, he forgives us. Time is short. Time is very short. We could be going home this year. That'd be great. But if we're still here next year, oh, and I know we're all praying that we're not, but if we are, don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. You hold on to the Lord's hand and don't let it go. Everybody, 3D. <laughs> we're all brothers and sisters in Christ, and we're all meeting at the marriage supper, so hang in there. And... I will probably make a just short video from the doctor's office tomorrow. And um, I have this chemo cream I've been putting on it. My mother has chemo cream. because so my mother has skin cancer really bad. Really bad. And uh, I'm putting some chemo cream on it. It can't hurt, you know. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll make a short video. Probably won't know the results for about a week or two. But I'll keep you guys updated. And thank you for your prayers. So. I'm getting in one more night of Uber because I'm going to have stitches tomorrow. And I'm probably going to be a little sore, so I'm going to take tomorrow off, so, um, God bless you, keep looking up, hang in there, put on the floor, my God, I promise you, time is short, and thank you for your prayers, and you're all in my prayers every day, God bless you, I'll talk to you soon.